Hello, Sally, and welcome to this chat. How are you Hi, doing? Hi, Derek. I'm doing great. It's really, really lovely to, to meet you and to be on this chat with you. Thank you. Yeah. I thought it'd be good to have you on a chat because you've obviously come over in September mm -hmm. to do some of your amazing work. And yeah, uh, yeah. come highly recommended from my wife, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're going to be doing on, it starts on Friday the 13th, guys, of, of all days. Um, we're going to have a circle and then we're going to have a training all weekend. But Sally, tell us more about yourself and what you're bringing to us. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm originally from Scotland, um, but as you can see, I'm not in Scotland now. I live in southern Spain. Um, but I um, really love bringing the work and the healing back to Scotland. I just love the energy there and the people there. So I just keep coming back. Um, I'm a channel and healer. Um, I also run retreats. Um, but what I'm coming over with in September is a channel healing circle, um, which is where I collect, collect, connect with the collective that I work with. And uh, they come through to share healing and guidance to the group. Um, and you very, probably, you probably do collect people in your journeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yes. <laughs> so these circles are always really, they're really quite profound and moving and uplifting, and it's just amazing to sit in like this higher vibration and, and consciousness uh, that's coming through to help us. So, so is, that, it like, is it like a, a spiritual circle that people? Uh, like spiritual search associate with or is this something different it's it's a wee big bit different um it's um so it's a galactic um collective and they've never they've they've never ever given a name they always say it's not about a name and a destination or a constellation it's about what comes through it's about the love that comes through it's about the healing that comes through um and when i move into a trance um their, their presence comes through to connect with everyone in the group, um, as a group, but also as individuals. And people have moved through um, really incredible physical relief of symptoms, um, as well as like spiritual awakening experiences, sensations, profound peace, love, um, clarity, cleansing, emotional release, you know, where everyone comes to a circle for their own reasons. So everybody experiences it differently. Um, for what they need and uh, it all happens through a trance so I'm not really involved it's an art and trance mediumship and trance mm -hmm. figuring so yeah. this, oh, this is channeled from you could say light beings divine yes beings. yes it's, it's to just to stop the confusion out there because it's not your mom and dad coming through so <laughs> no 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 absolutely not no um and you know I've always sort of like found it difficult to describe mm -hmm. um but when i'm in trance it's it's them here people have seen my face change my demeanor changes my voice changes um but what's being shared is such a beautiful powerful love um and they they speak through me as well as just sharing their their vibration through me so i'm just i'm just like the bridge in the middle um, and then when I come out of trance, I really don't have a recollection of what has what has passed, what's happened. Um, so, so that's what we're doing on Friday the thirteenth, the that's very auspicious amazing. date. <laughs> you are now Friday yeah. the thirteenth. It's associated with the Knights nice Templars and stuff. Yes, like it's not actually yeah. a scary. No, no, it's not. No, no. What kind of slaughtered in some sense, but they were they were weak. Yeah. Friday the thirteenth is actually a good. It's an amazing day for energy work. Amazing. Energy. Yeah. Great night to have um, it. Yes, it just, it just fell that way, didn't it? It just fell in with, I didn't even actually recognise that it was Friday the 13th. But it, and then we just, I saw the calendar and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, everything's fallen into place to come up and be with you and to, to be with Angela. So I'm super That's excited. It. I've got a lovely room here for people who've not seen the room. Mm -hmm. We a lovely room we can get uh, when we do the service type thing we can get about 30 people in there but they are yeah. I mean, maybe 10 to 20 people when you're here because you have people sitting down or lying down for the channeling or can we just um, both. both both 
um, whatever people feel comfortable with, whatever helps them relax the most. I would say I like 20 is a really lovely number, but I have channeled for 35 people before and everybody's received a personal message. But with a, with a smaller group, it feels people get a lot more personal attention from from the, the guys upstairs. So uh, it'll be amazing to watch and be part of as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to coming and sharing it. That's that's, that's the Friday night. Now what's that's happening? the Friday. <laughs> 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 uh, At the weekend we're moving down to the feet but through the heart. Um, I'm going to be sharing two days of universal reflexology and this is a beautiful, beautiful way of working with the feet where you're working from a meditative and intuitive state. You're working through the heart and with love energy. Um, but we see the feet as a portal through to the heart and through to the soul. So it is, it is reflexology. So we're working on the feet, but we're using very, very light touches and using the, um, the energy rather than I'm here on the liver <laughs> and I'm connecting through the liver. We're working very much with the mind body connection, spiritual connection, spiritual meaning of the area of the foot, the condition and the shape and the color of the foot. It's, it's multi-layered. Um, but the, you a reflexologist? No, you don't. Now, reflexologists can obviously use this as a complete way of working with the foot or they can just incorporate parts of it into their own treatments but anyone can learn this and anyone can use the the knowledge for themselves or they can share like a little bit with family or friends informally um so it's it's not a reflexology qualification but it can be used um with your family and friends and for yourself but reflexologists can incorporate it, it into their professional treatments. Yes, I, um, I know there's a few of our healer friends who are not reflexologists mm -hmm. would be by this anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what's what's really interesting is that the people that come to the workshop um, that aren't reflexologists sometimes end up getting more out of it because they don't have that specific training and that mindset of what's right and what's wrong and what's possible um so we're we're moving the healing not just about learning a technique on the feet but actually connecting from the soul the soles of the feet through to the soul and it also becomes like a personal journey for the the person that's giving the reflexology as well as the person that's receiving it because you're connected you're you're, you're connected in that heart energy which is where I think humanity is moving at the moment. We're moving away from the old ways of just going for a little treatment um, to actually going into a healing session, wanting and being open to learning more about ourselves and um, wanting to grow spiritually from it and not just looking for a, a quick fix. Yeah, I think it just sounds amazing. And I think it's, it's <laughs> quite odd that we've called our centre Soul Retreat Spiritual Wellness Center as an S O L E. Yes, uh, yes. Angela, yourself, and, and that weekend, because I feel it's also a very grounding thing when we talk about the feet. It is. Well, the grounding, that's we work, we walk upon Mother Earth. And one of my little sayings is um, upon the earth we walk, but from the stars we come. So through actually grounding we're actually bringing through our divine selves our truth our energy our essence but it has to be grounded here you know we are here on earth in this crazy beautiful world and our feet are that first connection with with mother earth and with all on a physical level all those nerve endings in the feet everything about us physically comes through to the feet so it's about grounding we're just losing the physical the, the, we're just losing presence, the which is a spiritual presence. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful. We just lost a little. Yeah, bit of, it's yeah, it's probably my fault because. Yeah, it's not to worry. We, we heard your voice, and it's probably the the spiritual energy around you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would love to think that, but it could be because I'm up on the roof terrace as well, and the router is downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, oh. Beautiful yeah, energy but, around. <laughs> but um, I'm really looking forward to coming over. And I think 
it's a good thing to have different people from all over the world. And we've got, we've got the Access Bars lady coming over from Italy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it's great to have all these people coming to our centre. Yeah, so absolutely. My original dream um, was to have like a holistic type hospital, but working mm-hmm. with it. It's using all these different modalities. Yes. Yeah. Have to change the way we're doing things and just giving people pills. And the yeah. wellness aspect is coming more and more in play now. Yes. And I think people are wanting more. They're wanting yeah. less of the pills. They're more curious about themselves and they're ready f- to take um, self responsibility for our well being and our, our happiness as well. And I also think it's a time for everyone coming together. The fact that I've reconnected with Angela, I've met you, I'm coming up to to Elgin, and there's so many different things happening at the moment, but it is like a family coming together again. And it's it's very exciting. And it's also, I think it's very beautiful. Love is leading the way. Is, Love is think, leading the way. I definitely think there's more to come. I think we've got this case of watch this space because yeah. Invited to different places, and it is changing. We're taking all sorts of messages uh, yes. of because certain healings won't work for some people, mm-hmm. and healings will work. I mean, I'm more of yeah. a mental kind of health type person, where I use my skills in CBT or NLP stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I am a Reiki master as well, and I love that energy side of it and the consciousness side of it as well. Yes. And I think there's so many different people, whether it's youth like acupuncturists, mm-hmm. so much that we can learn herbalists. There's yes. so much to it, which is actually old knowledge. Yes, it's resurfacing yeah. in different ways. Yeah. And I think we all find our own modality. We all find our own path. There's no right, there's no wrong. There's meldings of, of different um, methods there's an opening up of consciousness and of accepting that it doesn't in fact I feel it really shouldn't be a structured it has to be a b c d e that that way has gone now we're we're heart-led now and we're moving into a realm of really living as spiritual beings and um, with consciousness and awareness of ourselves and what that means within the bigger picture as well so it's very exciting very exciting. exciting times. Do they get like a certificate at the end of this weekend or something? Yes. Like yep. It's a certificate of attendance. And, you know, we do it. They're long days, but they're filled with practical um, sessions. But also I, we work with the cards and we work with energy and meditation. And it's, um, it's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we've got eight hours a day. So it's yeah. 16 hours, you know, over wow. the weekend. I'm making my famous soup and sandwiches. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am so looking forward to that. Good nutrition when you're using and energy good, and good I'm, next, I'm a next chef and, and I love cooking anyway. So and it's it's veggie friendly. There's no uh, lovely and, and we'll we'll have plenty of sandwiches and we'll have the, lovely. the cakes and stuff as well <laughs> I, I was just gonna say cake <laughs> we've got to show off our scottish culture as well we? yes <laughs> walk our short in the corner we'll need to get some <laughs> oh i can't wait very much looking forward to because the nutrition and how we look after our bodies and how we sustain ourselves is all part of our energetic health and emotional and mental physical health as well it's it's everything <laughs> And we hope in leading up to this, we'll have a few lives. I do a chat show and mm. we'll have one and uh, we'll get people to be able to ask you questions live. So yes. just, now, it's just to get to know you, advertise the fact that you're coming in Friday the 13th. I'm, I'm <laughs> coming home. I'm coming home to Scotland. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to having you here again and hopefully it'll be the first of many. Yes. I, oh, it definitely will be, Derek. It really will be. So I'll see just- you. I'll say cheerio for now, Sally. And okay. everyone who wants more information, there'll be information below on Facebook, YouTube, or whatever channel this is on. I don't know if I can get it on TikTok. I'm learning it on Snapchat. I'm learning all these things. Wow. <laughs> not, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> it's, like, it's good. and uh, But I'll definitely be on YouTube and face, our Facebook page okay. as well. Lovely. And just thank you so much for the invitation. And I look yeah. forward to everything that we're going to share. Nobody's first. Anyway, bye for now, Sally. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. See you soon.